Emma, coming. Oh, fuck this shit. This is not the right thing. Nothing. Got more coming? Well, wow, there's two waves, I think. Swing and a miss. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, shit. Oh. Try to grab some okay. ammo here. It's safe now. Open magic doors. Hello? You, uh, you still alive? I got a really bad feeling about all of this. I'm gonna need those keys to the diner now. There's a motel key there that I have to get. Oh, hey, you don't have to do that. I have the motel master key. I work for the same company, you know. Um, what's at the motel? Well, there's a dead guy. He's got something I need to get into the Mount Redtooth Observatory. God, that's awful. Hey, um, you wanted to know about the guy who looked like you, didn't you? The last time you said he had a party, and, but you didn't go. I, no, that's not true. I did go. It was really great at first, and, and then I didn't see it myself, but I hear he turned nasty. He hurt a bunch of guys bad, and there was this girl, he, she died. But I didn't hear about that until afterwards. I thought that he was so charming. And then he went to the diner. That's, that's right. I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved with that at all. I don't know what happened. I need to check out these motel rooms. In the meantime, you stay here, okay? I'm serious. Keep the lights on and stay here. Yeah, okay. You got it. She did that last I time. I hope you're right about this. You're gonna stay here this time, right? Because the last time I didn't and that thing, whatever it is, happened to me? Yeah. I don't want you to get hurt again. Don't worry, I'm gonna stay put. I don't remember what happened exactly, but I learned my lesson. Good. It doesn't have to happen exactly the same way this time around. You proved that much when you went out and got those things for me. I think you're going to be okay. Let's hope you're right. No, no, she's not. She's going to die again. The memory of her own fate haunts Emma Sloan and fills her with dread. This time, she does as she's told. It's not enough to save her. Way to go, Alan. Way to go. I mean, never to trust you when you tell me to do something. Nope, don't want to go in there yet. I want to see if I can... Check some other rooms. Yes, here we go. No. Okay. Let's see if any other rooms are open up. Why can't I open that room? I had the master key, I thought. Nope. Nope. Pick this up again. Alright, what is this door, I think? Yep. Hi, buddy. It's said that nobody knows what the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. A weaker man might simply give up, but the champion of light is an expert on destiny. Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same.
Mount Redtooth, its top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the Champion of Light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. He looks so happy. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. He knows the darkness is still a dick. That's what the camera should be. Oh, come on. Fine. Whoa, hey, buddy. What are you doing here? And why did you just explode? Oh, praise me. You guys are coming through for me. A pretty little light. Like no, the security. Get all that in here. I need to see some ID. Now listen to the radio in peace, please. No. Fuck you, Taken. You ruined everything. As a storyteller, my first real love was crime. And it was in that genre that I finished my first novel, starring the perpetually miserable Alex Casey, whose entire life was a wound that never healed. The books sold as fast as they hit the shelves. I wrote five more Alex Casey books, and they all were bestsellers. I became rich. I became famous. Success brought pressure, and I didn't handle it very well. Well, no one knows how they're going to act when they're famous. Oh, uh, you probably could have done a better job of handling it. Come over here, grab this ammo. So I can't believe I got hurt. That kind of pisses me off. See if they fix the sound for this door. They did! Great. And you go this way. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's a whole bunch of shit over here. Oh, we're going over here. Grab it. On, bud. I'm just picking up a, a page. Calm down. I've seen the enemy, and it's me. I faced dark horrors before, things that live in the unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Sometimes they masquerade as humans. That's what ultimately lurks inside Mr. <laughs> He's every mean-spirited tabloid story about me. An evil caricature, a creature formed in that vague territory of misconceptions, Half-truths and the dark imagination of people who heard a story about me. An urban legend made flesh. A serial killer. My dark half. Brought to life by the power of Cauldron Lake. Oh, that's just a little. Your dark, your dark half is a bit of a dick, I'm just saying. You know what? I haven't been down here. Let's go down here and take a look. Oh, this is where I had to go. Well, sweetness. Go me. Glad her car's right here. Let you go grab this and listen to it. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. 
I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. Way to go. Can I go through here? Nope. Well, so we try. All right, so now I gotta go to the, to the telescope. And I'm probably get ambushed again as I'm like I go in here. Oh, damn it! I want to see what's in the box. Why you gotta be like this? Come on, guys. What's in the box? Let's see. Great if I could aim. Get out of here. You too. Alright. Now I want to see what. Oh, it's a hunting rifle. How does this work? Oh, that's fancy. We're gonna take this, because I haven't used it before. Should I go up the stairs, or should I take the... We're gonna take the road up, because I wanna get healed. Should we go back there, just to see if there's like a... page back here somewhere. There isn't, but they there are these flashbangs. So that was worth coming back here. No, okay, good. Is there a page? Nope. Oh, it was worth it. No, oh, yay, more crows. Back. Alright, it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to this. I never used this rifle before. Gotcha. What was in this? Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, Myths and fables. Not really surprising, honestly. Little flare. Uh, make sure we're on some flares. Uh, hold on. What's over here? What's with the the thing over here? Ah, another page. Good. The pressure of success got to me. My wife, Alice, was the sole thing in my life that anchored me. Suddenly, it wasn't enough. I couldn't write anymore. I distracted myself with wild parties and whatever trouble I could scare up. I wallowed in the drama of my life, sure that Alice would stick with me even though she didn't sign up to be the lifeline of a tortured artist. It was my dumb luck she's not the type to give up. Pretty much. I know, I'm looking for stuff right now. We'll, we'll continue in a second. Because I don't want to miss any of these pages. The spiders nah, are really the work of the enemy. They're a side effect. A part of the dark place's less significant fauna that has managed to slip through the opening I made when I arrived. Less an animal than an idea that has assumed the form of an animal. Makes them no less dangerous. But at least they're a little easier to deal with. The darkness doesn't protect them like the Taken. 
and thus they can be destroyed by either light or bullets right away. Oh, I wish I had known that. I would have shot the fuckers. Oh well. We're gonna waste some ammo. Just outrun them. Hello? Remember me? Hi. It's you! How dare you! No, wait. It isn't you, is it? I... I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I'll unlock the door. Oh, I thank you. Thanks. You're a wonderful person. Uh-oh. Our TV show. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one, though. If, if the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is gonna do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. I don't want to know, to be honest. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? Aiming? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? God, he's so fucking creepy. Uh, pick this up. You have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. Because it did. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. Really? You took damage from that? I think we can give this a go. Although I have this strange feeling that something Don't will go Don't start wrong. it up yet. There's a problem with the cooling system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, you should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yep. Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. Fine. All of this is very strange to me. Fine, fine, fine. We'll come up and talk to you. Be nice about it. Uh, there's a wall. Hello. I don't quite know what's going on, but I seem to remember having had this encounter before. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose... I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Neither do I. But I can't argue with what I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. All right. I realize that you have trouble believing this. That's an understatement. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. 
But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. But it's not just you. I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that prove something, at least? Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance, and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. Gee, thanks. You're not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. For what it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. Sure, but you have to stop second-guessing yourself at some point if you want to get something done. Fair enough. That's what's crazy about the mind. You can't do that kind of shit. You think about it, your entire reality is filtered th through your brain. And if it wants to, it can fuck with you. And you won't even know. Oh, that's scary. Granted, it doesn't really want to. It tends to just do it. But, anywho. Semantics. Alright, let's go kill people. Oh, monsters! Crazy monsters? No. Oh. You can make me run all the way down there to kill you? Really? I don't want to do that. God damn it. Ha! Fine, don't jump over. We'll go around. Jeez. Oh, someone spawned. Are you behind me? You holy shit, hi. Wow, there are a lot of you fellas. That's the main one. Get out of here with that bullshit. Fuck. Just reload that. Reload this. These beams hate the light, am I correct? Yep. You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. Sweetness. Put the switch. Doctor, can you hear me? I think we're good to go. All right. I'll start looking for the signal. Please, head back. Could you stop being a dick, please? I would very much appreciate that. Really? We're doing cars now? Oh, you're an asshole. I guess they didn't like that. You think? They're not fans of ours, Alan. Oh, you're tumbleweed. Fuck you. I think there's a page. Yep, here's a page. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. Why well, do you care about the people that work for you, lady? Darkness, you're being a dick for no reason. I'm just trying to get around. Oh god. Whoa! Oh, it did hit me. Shit. Really, thing? Now you're just being a dick for no reason. Wow. Oh, 
here, just grab this shit if we have to. Can't carry more. Okay, I'll pull up. Fuck you, darkness. Get out of here. Go that way. I'll go this way. Up the lit path, of course. Really? I need a heal here. Never. Yeah, that was overpowered for what that thing was, but heck, whatever. Wasn't well, there an ambulance over there? Right with you. Oh, hi. That was a bullshit. You, you want to open the door? Thank you. Can you come back from this? I believe in you. I think you can. All you have to do is believe. You believe. Click your heels together and say there's no place like home. Why? Why do you hate my mind? My, my hero? Really? Really? If you're dead, just concede, man. I mean, I'm trying my best to say, Blake. Oh, whatever. Alright, go. 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 Bear, you will maul him and eat him for dinner. It's like a picnic basket. Except for all gooey and squishy inside, so...